I really wanted to tell the story of, of how this screening happened that, w that we're in right now. It began not last week, but the week before. It actually began a couple of months ago when Rick had a meeting of the uh, board of directors of the Austin Film Society. And he said that the, he thought the Film Society should get more aggressive, not just about programming films, but about starting with grants to filmmakers. Because where it was important to show and share our heritage, our film heritage, which is what the Film Society has been doing for 10 years, to get films made, money sometimes is a lot more meaningful than to go see a good John Ford film, although I'm not sure that's entirely true. Um, so Rick decided that what we needed was to set up a fund and to start so we could start funding local productions, and he got together the board of directors to talk about how to do this. And one of the things we talked about doing was a from dusk to dawn screening. We decided we would do it, we put some tickets on sale, we weren't sure how people would respond. We sold 800 tickets in 40 minutes. <laughs> People that Rick haven't seen in years, that I haven't seen in years, that people who work for the Austin Film Society haven't seen in years have been calling up and saying that they're their best friends and don't have any extra tickets. <laughs> Quinn flew in and said that he and Robert talked about doing this screening at the Paramount during the shoot because Robert was so excited about presenting this movie to Austin. So what I'm trying to say, and I guess with all this is, the reason this screening happened was because Rick Linkletter and Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez and the people that they work with were determined that there be a screening in Austin, Texas that they could present this movie at. One of the great privileges in, of the last decade has been working with, with Rick, Rick Linkletter, first as a program for the Austin Film Society, and then as a filmmaker. He's here tonight to present his good friend Robert Rodriguez and his good friend Quentin Tarantino's new movie, From Dust Till Dawn, Rick Linkletter. to Robert in LA. Um, he's talking about, he's cutting TV spots, he's shooting a video today, I think, with, or he shot one yesterday with ZZ Top, he's shooting with George Clooney today, and I, I really think Robert is uh, rivaling James Brown for the hardest working man in show business right now. The guy doesn't stop, he's amazing, and he really, really wanted to be here, and uh, well, Quentin will tell you more about that later. But anyway, um, I just want to thank all of you on behalf of the Film Society. If you didn't get a, a program on your way in, uh, try to pick one up on your way out. It's a, uh, a program celebrating our 10 years of showing films here in Austin. It talks a little bit about the Filmmakers Fund that Lewis referred to. And uh, your money tonight, I just want you to know, is going toward programming and the seed money to start this uh, Texas Filmmakers Production Fund, which is an idea we've had for a while and we're trying to set up because the NEA cut grants to reach the kind of $2,000 grant I got making Slacker and the, you know, helping people make films, that's all gone now. So we're really trying to come up with something to take that, you know, that grant place. So uh, this will be an ongoing thing. We're trying to raise a lot of money, and tonight is, I think, a, a good start. So, um, okay. 16, 16 months ago, now I'm going to introduce Quentin, but I was just, 16 months ago when I introduced Quentin at uh, Hog, I said, uh, you know, this is a great night, and you know, Austin film going history, and it, and it was. But uh, I think Quentin, and I went on some big rant, one of my incomprehensible rants about meeting Quentin for the first time when he was finishing writing Pulp Fiction and then visiting the set a year later and meeting John Travolta and how cool that was and, you know, all this kind of stuff. So, um, but after, of course, someone asked me, what were you guys smoking, you know? So I said, uh, I'm going to keep it really simple tonight. And uh, we all know Quentin's a great director, but tonight I want to introduce him is a great writer and a great actor, Quentin yeah. Tarantino. Looks like 
mine, Robert and my little screening in Austin with Rick has gotten really big. <laughs> um, this is a blast. I mean, we've, uh, from the moment, after I, I showed uh, Pulp Fiction here, I had like such a great time and I liked it so much and stuff that the entire time we were making From Dust Till Dawn, me and Robert, the entire time talked about, oh man, we're gonna go to take it to Austin, man. We'll have that first screening, we'll have it with Rick, and it'll be at the Austin Film Society, and it's gonna be so cool, and we'll just have a blast that whole time. All right, so the entire time we were making the movie, we were thinking about, man, like the cool show is gonna be tonight. <laughs> It was like, you know, we would talk to people on the crew and say, hey, look, man, when you, if you really want to see this movie, man, you got to come to Austin, all right? And that one screening. There'll never be that one screening again. It's only once. And Robert feels so bad he couldn't be here. He's doing this easy Top video and everything, so that's good enough excuse. All right, but before, uh, before I left, you know, we got together and he was talking about it and everything, and he put specific things in the movie for this screening. <laughs> because he can't watch every screening in Texas, so he knew he was going to see this one. All right? So, so he put it in there to watch you watch it. All right? And so he went down a list of all of them for me when, before I left, so I could tell him where they responded, where they didn't respond. tell you because none of your business, all right? <laughs> but, you know, uh, so he wants to know. So he's just like, he's, he's dying with anticipated breath. Also, I don't know if anyone knows this or not. Um, I don't think they've advertised this part of it. This is like the very first public screen this movie's ever had. Yeah. All right? Yeah. You know, we've had press screening. No, we had one. We had one market research screening like way long time ago. But uh, like we've never had like a public screening where like, you know, fans showed up to see the movie. Now, the other thing is, this is, you know, Paramount Theater is really nice. I really like the Paramount Theater a lot. But <laughs> the perfect place to actually see this movie would be if there was a drive-in out on I-5 <laughs> and go out there and see it there. So I want us all to forget we're in this really nice place, okay, and pretend we're in a drive-in, all right, where you can do anything you want. <laughs> you can yell at the screen, you can uh, you throw things, you can irritate your neighbor, you can knack, you can do anything you want. And the movie will bear it. <laughs> it's that kind of movie, all right? It's just a laugh and scream and throw shit at the screen. And so let's get this whole $15 ticket thing out of our head. <laughs> let's get this whole benefit idea out of the head. <laughs> and we are right now, all right, at a grindhouse. <laughs> We've just got through watching the Kung Fu movie that played before it. Okay? It's from dusk till dawn's time, and I hope you all dig it, and I, th I think afterwards we're not going to do a question and answer, but we're going to go talk or something like that at the bar. So, have a good time. Bye-bye. Thanks.